I want to make sure that you get to know Amy Estep tonight. So other than the, the girl who had a hard time sitting down in, in uh, Fools, <laughs> your son, uh, there's a lot more to Amy than, than that part, but I've asked her to share her testimony tonight. So would you please welcome her? <laughs> Performer, you know, by trade, so I usually have things prepared. And I'm just going to kind of talk off the cuff, so we'll see what comes up. <laughs> so, um, starting off, um, really, you know, I had a, probably an atypical childhood, um, or maybe it's typical now, I don't know. Um, but I've never known my father, and, um, you know, my mom, she raised me and my younger brother and sister. Um, and that was a really big challenge for us because um, a lot of times, you know, we didn't get to go to school. Um, we didn't always have a place to live. Sometimes we lived on the streets. Sometimes we lived um, out of a car. Um, sometimes we lived with my grandmother. You know, so there was a lot of um, things starting out in my life that I, um, I was guess I guess I was missing. And um, uh, it was a you know it was a little bit of a challenge for me um, kind of understanding who God was and that kind of thing, because I had family members that went to church, and, um, you know, I remember one of the earliest times I went to church was, like, an Easter Sunday, you know, my aunt, my great aunt was like, oh, yeah, we're going to go to the sunrise, you want to come with us? And I was like, okay, I have no idea what that means, but sure. And so, you know, I went, and um, I got a pretty dress, and, I, and um, you know, got a, got a first taste kind of thing with that. And, um, you know, as, you know, Looking back on everything right now, I can tell that even in the midst of um, all the things that um, I struggled through with um, not, not being able to relate to people, um, not being able to you know go to school all the time, that kind of thing, God literally had his hand on me even from a young age because I remember, um, I can remember very vividly like, you know, sitting in a car in the middle of the night um, and talking to someone, and it was one of those things, like, I wouldn't have said, you know, if you'd asked me when I was little, like, what are you doing? I would have just been like, I don't know. But um, I think looking back, it's, you know, I was definitely praying, and I was talking to God, and um, it's one of those things, like, I could have gotten into a lot of, you know, bad things with, um, you know, anything, you know, can happen to kids when they're on the street and that kind of thing. So, um, for me to see how God has moved um, in my life, just protecting me, guiding me, um, and um, providing for me has been great. You know, I um, so yeah, I was kind of struggling through the beginning parts of my life, and then um, and when I was about 12, my aunt took me in, which was really a blessing, um, and she was you know very very kind to me. But at the same time, that was a struggle because um, <laughs> we didn't have the best relationship, and she was kind of always you know like it was like little Cinderella kind of thing where it'd be like. All right, you didn't claim this right, so you're grounded again. And I'd be like, okay, whatever, because I'm very anti Um, But again, like, you know, we went to church all the time, and that's where I met my, I met my husband there um, at the time. He was my friend, um, middle school age. And then, um, you know, uh, again, I just see God's hand in that, too, because we, he brought us together so so closely at such a young age. And then um, in high school, we started dating, and um, he um, he's the one that just kept encouraging me to you know grow my relationship with God and um, uh, eventually I went to Cal Baptist which is in Riverside um, and that was where I, I kind of recommitted I, I kind of committed my life to God um, in high school and you know it's kind of one of those things like okay you know like I'm going and it's you know it's kind of the, the thing to do right and um, you know but I wasn't super serious because I was really focused on myself because I think not having a lot growing up, it was one of those things where um, I wanted to focus on myself. You know, nobody looked after me, so I was like, I want this, I want this for me, I want to do this, I want to, you know, get out of this house, I want to do this, and um, I, I had dreams of like going to New York and being, being an actress, <laughs> you know, all this stuff, and um, God humbled me, thank goodness, <laughs> um, for that. And, um, you know, again, that's one of the things bringing Andrew to my life um, and, uh, you know, just um, helping me to see, like, that I had a purpose with him, um, you know, and um, everything after that, um, going to Cal Baptist was, you know, because Andrew's parents were like, no, you have to go here. And so I was like, well, I guess I'll apply. And then I got in and I joined the choirs and everything. It was really great. And, um, you know, went to pursue being a music teacher through that. And, again, just, you know, God has, um, God has really, um, show me my value in that, and, um, you know, at times when I was growing up, I didn't really feel like I had value, um, because, you know, I, I didn't have a father, my father was like, peace out, oh, you're pregnant, goodbye, um, you know, and um, so 
just seeing, just seeing how God has sheltered me, comforted me, protected me through all of that um, has been amazing. And um, you know, just seeing again, like even in my adult life, um, moving through, uh, you know, different phases. Like um, when I, you know, when we first moved out this way, we're actually from like the Riverside area and Corona and. Um, uh, my husband got a job out here, and then I wasn't really looking for one, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, hey, you know, maybe I should try to find a job, even though, you know, we only have one car and all this crazy stuff, and I, I interviewed for a job, and I didn't think I'd get it, and then a week later I found out I was pregnant with my first EV, and then um, the next week I got offered the job, so it was just like, oh, that's an amazing coincidence, you know, but it, obviously it's not a coincidence. So, um, you know, just um, having this finest place and being with you guys, and um, it's been really, truly amazing just to see how God has, you know, been faithful and um, and provided everything for me. You, know, um, you guys are so amazing and it's so nice because I'm plugged in here and plugged into the theater program and um, you know that's just. I mean, I feel like I have a family and so I thank you guys for always being like, hey, how's it going? You know, and you're smiling and it's really, it really makes a difference. So um, thank you to the newbie <laughs> from the newbie, I guess. Um, and uh, thanks for listening to me. <laughs> Myself uh, last Saturday when we had this program for my best friend in my earlier years <coughs> um, down in uh, La Habra, and I was thinking much in something that that Amy just said in, in relation to looking back on what God was doing in my life before I ever really looked at Him, you know, um, seeing the things that He had gifted me to do, um, and at the same time thinking, much as Amy said, uh, it's, it's about me, rather than about what God wants to do through me, but he's not going to do that until I finally surrender and realize it's not about me. Right? Um, and there's a lot of other things, there's a lot of sadness in the midst of that, but for the most part I was very, very very, very uh, challenged to, to look at my earlier life, the life that I lived without God, really, um, and look for Him, look for those places where he was, he was kind of shoving, He was nudging, or He would let me take whatever road I decided to walk until I found that it was a dead end, or it was a road that was going to lead somewhere that I, I really didn't want to go. So. It's, it's great. I really appreciate that. Um, you tell it so simply, and yet hearing what you said is actually quite staggering. Because um, I don't really know a lot of people who grew up on the street, who lived in a car, you know, as a child, and didn't have a parent, and um, felt like <laughs> that's her normal, you know. And I would have never thought normal if I heard that. Um, but you seem really normal now. <laughs> Don't have to fool you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait till you get to know me. <laughs> anyway, um, let's take some time and just pray for each other.